So yeah, Jonathan is the son or grandson of John Morris. Not the same name. Um, the John Morris from Castlevania. Ooh, I was hoping you weren't gonna ask me to clarify. You absolutely did. You asked me to clarify which Castlevania game John Morris was from. Um, uh, the the oh, the Castlevania. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It was the one with, it, it was the one with John Morris and Eric Lacard, which um. Yeah. So if you know which one that is, it, it's that one. Yeah, we learned how to do that now. Come on, Charlotte. Don't be shy. This painting, its power is incredible. Must be one of those paintings. Without a doubt. Hmm. I've got it. Care to share? This painting's function. Bronner is using it to control the power of this castle. Well then let's hurry up and rip it to shreds. Impossible. Anything we do will be pointless. From what I can tell based on the theory of curse amplification, this picture is a multi-layer quantum space barrier. A kind of paranormal phenomenon. Okay. And what's that mean in human language? Uh, not throwing random words together. In short, I think it's a series of walls that surrounds the magic control, the magic controlling Dracula's castle. This painting itself is just the outermost wall. As soon as you break it, it'll generate. It's unbreakable. How convenient. So now what? I'll align my magic with the painting so we can enter it. That's right. Super Mario 64 style. That'll be the best way to circumvent the castle's magic. The risk is quite high, though. No problem. What do we have to lose? Okay, then. Here we go. Wahoo! Here we go! So we're in the painting now? The will of the artist is embodied here. I really do love this idea, though. <laughs> like, City of Haze. We're entering, like, gothic-type paintings. It's like if Super Mario 64 was... Gothic 64. And there's, like... Enemies. I mean, there was enemies in 64, too. I don't know. That's Death Mask. That's not what I would expect a Death Mask to look like, but that's what it is. No, don't hit me! Oh, Charlotte got a, got a little tiara. How cute. Made of flowers from a meadow. I like the seam. It's, it's like, it's kind of neat to have seeing a Castlevania take place in like a city. Like stores. Even though it's just in 2D. Oh, an axe. That is a Jonathan sub-weapon, which is pretty good. Curdle. As you can see, they're, they're gonna need to... There's a lot more items, because they need to have had enough items for two characters. So there's gonna be a lot of items throughout the game. And that's pretty good. That's what I like to call a loot fest. Leather Curious. So yeah, I'm going to be playing as Jonathan for the most part because he's a little bit more fun to play as. He's got the the weapon variety and the swiftness. Charlotte makes a good a side character. What the heck is this bird thing? I don't know. But, you know, Charlotte's kind of, I guess she's more like the Yoko, in which case she um good against bosses, I suppose? I, I haven't really thought about it, but... I mean, that could be the case. Leather Corset. More defense, less int. So, I don't know. That may not 
they may that may not be super great since Charlotte is a int user. But I guess we'll see. Oh, so this is a special enemy here. Not this jellyfish guy. Get out of here. Why are you flying? So this guy. He attacks. Jonathan. But if you're Charlotte. <laughs> that's right. He is totally simping for Charlotte. Zakino. And it, it may be wise to know that through all of the Zakinos that are going to simp for her, through all the leather corsets we're going to put on her, that Charlotte is in fact 16 years old. That is, that is canonically true. So, might be worth keeping in mind when you see all the simp and sexualization of this character. I actually don't think there's a whole lot. Like, dialogue-wise, I don't think there's any of that. Except for the weird corsets and the Zakinos. This guy, the skull bartender. Actually, he actually gives stuff. That one heals. That poisons! Oh, you jerk! Out of here. Green tea cake. Cream pie. <laughs> I should have read that, actually. A throwing weapon aimed at an enemy's face for psychological damage. It's quite embarrassing. Also, there's a return of student witch. She's actually voice acted when she dies. See? They're making upgrades. Paper airplane. Not terribly intimidating, but just might put someone's eye out. Well, I don't want them seeing. I don't want them seeing, you see? Oh, I can, um... You can actually get stuff from this. Open the cash register, drop in some money. That's one dollar. That gives the shot the sat that. Whatever whatever I just got was. That was ten dollars? A New York cheesecake. Ten dollars for a New York cheesecake. Hmm. Must be pretty good. I can't say I've had it. I guess that was 50. A mill fool filet? I don't know why I'm bothering trying to pronounce what these things are. Unless I like acting a fool. Wheat roll. And I do not have... And these things do not drop anything higher than a 50. So in order to get those other two, we gotta find a way of increasing how much money these things drop. Which, I guess that kinda just explains there is a way. Eventually. Rush. A basic combination where both partners take turns attacking. So yeah, they have like combo attacks they can use. As long as that MP bar is flashing, they will perform a combo attack. Rush is kind of the worst one. Obviously. But it's fine. It's got a little anime cutscene, I guess. Man, they should make a they should make a Castlevania anime. <laughs> that's uh that's what we used to say back in the day, you know, before uh before Netflix made our dreams come true. Those little guys are quite the nuisance. Slinger no slinging. Slinger no slinging. Aw oh, man. So many zombies. Too many zombies? Too many zombies. It's gotta be. It's gotta be one syllable. Simp on Charlotte for a bit. So that she can roast you. 
Oh yeah, dude. Leather whip. You know we going whips up in here. So the only the only downside with whips is that this while this game does have attack canceling as well, you jumping doesn't cancel the whip's attack. As you can see, it still goes through. The only way to cancel a whip attack is back dashing, which means you can only cancel once. Not that I'm not that I'm like going to be doing that a whole lot, since most enemies are in the air or at a di certain distance. But you know, if you ever need those speedrun strats. Not the best... Whip's probably not the best way to go. Ow. And I'm all pin heels! Charlotte, you like pin heels, right? Eight, eight. Wait, these are both the same? Oh, okay. Oh, one of them's for Jonathan, that's why. Sandals are unisex, so... Anybody can wear that. Holy Lightning. This is the better one. Um, the only problem with those is that you have to equip them to both people. Which I guess means that they can each equip something separately, but... I usually don't. Well, I don't have enough MP to even use it. You gotta level up at least one more time. Which should be coming up relatively soon. Well, maybe not soon, soon, but... You know, eventually is basically what I'm trying to say. You throw an axe, I throw a paper airplane. Market Street. Peeping Eye! The only 3D enemy they've programmed. I don't know why they always change the peeping eyes. But, no, fine. It's always interesting to see what the peeping eye looks like in a Castlevania game, because they always look different. So you stay there, I will join you shortly. Aggressive. Um, nope. Wanna head up here first. Yeah, the City of Haze is probably one of my favorite levels in this game. Just because it's, like, really neat. Even the music really adds to the theme. Gale Force. That's a good Charlotte spell. Mace. That is a two-handed. I'm not going to be <clears throat> not going to be going with two-handed slow weapons. The slowest weapon I'm going to go for is the whips. Skill cube. Use partner's skill with R, so I don't have to change to her to use the thing. But it, the only downside is it uses at its weakest. So yeah, as you can see, double teaming on enemies, they just kind of fall instantly. But they make up for it by, um... I don't know, having more enemies? I don't, I don't really know. Maybe they don't make up for it. Maybe that's why this game's kind of easy. Alright, see you then. Yeah, there's just a lot of options and ways to go about playing this. There's only one way for me, that's the whip way. Alright, Charlotte, I don't know where you were aiming with that. Maybe try better. Hoop... Hoopland. I don't know what that is. It's 
Pretty good. And it would be good for you, but I only have one of them. Axe armor. Explain what kind of room this would be, by the way. Like a cathedral? Why is there a dead man laying there? And why are there so many signs? It's like a... Almost like a train station, but it's a cathedral? I, I don't I don't quite know what, what the design of this little area is. Oh, it's not good. Get him, Charlotte. Get him. You saw he's trying to punk us. Get him. Nun shoes. I don't think nun's clothes are very good. But they're good enough. It's actually part of a side quest. Eventually is getting all those nun clothes, so... Definitely gonna want to pick them up! Kid, catch! Good job! My eye! 